What's up travelers, it's Eliz from Means to Travel and today I am back continuing my travel product review series on this channel with another carry-on bag review. This right here is the Minima Carry-On Spinner Bag by Chester, which you can find on ChesterTravels.com and I was delighted to be gifted this bag by Chester a couple weeks ago um, in order to do a review for you all um, and I have now taken it on two separate trips. Specifically, I have gone to Sonoma County, California for a bachelorette weekend with this bag and also on an adventure trip to Utah, um, going to Salt Lake City and some of the national parks. And on both trips, it's performed quite well, so um, I wanted to give you guys a longer overview of this bag. So the Minimo bag comes in seven different colors. I specifically chose the sky blue color because blue is my favorite color. Um, but with that, I'm going to quickly review a few key features of the bag before I give you all my personal review. So most importantly, for me anyways, is that the dimensions are a half an inch smaller than the standard international carry-on size um, bag dimensions that are required for flights. So the international size dimensions um, that are listed on all of the TSA websites are 22 by 14 by 9 inches and size is always the number one most important thing for me to look at when I look to buy a carry-on because it is more important than any other feature. So now I'll give you a quick tour of the bag before going over what I believe are the pros and cons. So the Chester bag actually opens to the right if you bring the zipper to the right. And then you unfold it to the left like this. And you will see that both sides are of equal depth. Um, there are pockets in the lining in the middle. So here you have a larger pocket and there are two smaller mesh pockets in here. You can kind of see my hand through there. Um, and then I'm gonna open this side up as well and you'll see that there's a large pocket here and a large pocket here with wheel wells. So it's very similar to the Away bag as well as the Tumi review I already did in that way of giving you quite a lot of space on either side to separate one side being clothes and one side being shoes, toiletries, etc. Um, there's also a teeny tiny little pocket in here that comes with a bag of, for keeping your shoes or laundry if you need it as well. And then when you close it up, it is made of hard sided um, material. So it's different than the soft sided luggage review that I've already done. And it has 360 spinner wheels here. And I'll go over what I think about those in just a little bit. There is a side handle on the side here as well as a top handle here. It comes with a luggage tag that has the privacy fold. Um, I actually added my own luggage tag. You guys know that I like to do that just to make sure that nobody thinks that it's their bag. Um, and it does have a TSA lock on the top here. On the very front, there's a teeny little monogram of the, the Chester brand as well, just to make sure that you know what luggage it is. So that is a quick tour of the bag. Okay, now that I've given you a tour of the bag, let's go over a couple of the pros and cons that I found after having it and testing it on two trips. So the first pro I have to say is that it is very affordable as a professional bag. Um, so if you order it off of ChesterTravels.com, the base price right now is $195. And because you watch this video, you can use my personal discount code of MTT10 um, to get an additional 10% off of the bag. So on top of that, you can get free two-day shipping. So if you don't have Amazon, that's going to be a great deal. Um, and as a means of comparison, its competitor, which is Away Luggage, um, starts at $225. So it's certainly more affordable than a lot of competitive bags. On top of that, um, the colors range from fashionable to professional, which is really cool. I love my sky blue bag, but it definitely is a little bit more fashionable. Um, you can get it in other colors too. Um, it comes in black, charcoal gray, light gray, navy, sand, which is kind of a tan color, 
and um, pink or a light pink. Another um, major pro is that it has the 360 spinner wheels that are great for if you're trying to roll it through an airport. Um, and I've found that these wheels work really well, even maybe better than my Tumi, um, for rolling on carpet and flat surfaces. I will put a video of me up here rolling this bag on both carpet and flat surfaces so you can tell. But um, lastly, I want to say that I would not be afraid of bringing this bag on cobblestones. Um, I would just do it quite carefully uh, to make sure that the wheels are um, in tip-top shape for that off-roading experience. <laughs> Another pro is that its small size has allowed me to bring it as a carry-on very easily on American, United, and Delta flights and put it in the overhead bin. Um, and there is a side strap here on the side that helps with doing that too and lifting it up into the bin so you don't have to grab at the wheels. Then um, I should also add, there's that built-in TSA lock up here that if I did need to gate check my bag last minute, let's say um, I'm running late to getting on the plane and all of the overhead bin space is taken, uh, I've found that the zipper TSA lock is really cool and the lock itself was incredibly easy for me to set when I first got the bag to my personal code. Um, and then the, the lock just locks and unlocks with this mechanism up here. I don't have to bring a separate lock. Um, then the bag itself is actually lighter weight than the Tumi Alpha 2 carry-on that I've been using um, for the past many months. Um, this bag is 7 pounds. The Tumi bag that I typically carry is almost 10 pounds. Um, additionally, it's really cool, um, definitely a pro, is that it comes with its own bag tag so you don't have to have one separate and it has a privacy feature where your name and information is covered. And then. Lastly, I need to say that the hard shell is actually something new to me, um, but it is really great for if I got caught in the rain or something like that and needed um, a water resistant bag. Um, and it also helps me fit in a little bit better if I go to Europe because in Europe, hard shell bags are definitely more popular. And I guess the last pro to this bag that I want to add is that the lining does have those built-in pockets similar to the lining of the Tumi bag I've been using. So I think that that's a really great feature to help keep me organized. Uh, so now that I've gone over the pros, I also want to mention a few of the cons of this bag that I think travelers should consider before they make that final purchase. First and foremost, this bag is slightly smaller, which means it actually holds slightly less. Um, I did the math and it holds about a tenth less in volume than the maximum TSA size allots for. Um, but honestly, uh, most international carry-on bag sizes are slightly smaller than that maximum in order to have that precaution against needing to check your bag in case um, you're really maxing it out within the bag sizers. Um, then there is one thing I want to add is that there is on the um, handle itself, there's a little lip, you can kind of see it right here that ended up being a bit of a challenge for me based on the tote bag that I typically carry because I have a um, trolley sleeve in order to attach the tote bag to the handle um, of my large carry-on tote bag. And um, it kept, when I was trying to take the tote bag off, it kept getting a little bit stuck on the lip and I'd have to kind of jostle it off. So that's one thing to keep in mind just as an ease of getting everything um, into your seat and up above into the overhead bins when you're getting on the plane. Then um, one other thing I want to add is that the interior lining in the bag itself, so open it up again real quick, is a little bit different quality than the Tumi bag that I'm used to, but again, this costs about a third the price. so. I think that the quality itself is still really strong. Um, you can just tell it's slightly different. Um, then also, I need to add that what's interesting is that the pockets actually, because the zippers unzip outwards, the pockets actually come inward. So if you have things in this pocket and you're trying to unpack something from either side, you kind of have this folding book situation of um, 
needing to make sure you get to the right pocket. Versus on other bags, these middle pockets fold outwards, so you kind of have um, more of uh, an expanded space where you can see everything all at once. But that being said, the fact that the bag kind of folds within itself made my bag take up less space in small hotel rooms. So that's definitely uh, could be a pro for some people. Another amazing benefit of the Chester bag, now that I've gone over all the cons, is that um, when you do order this off of Chester's website, you can get free two day shipping, even if you're not an Amazon Prime member. It's just something that they offer to all of their customers. So that's really fast and if you need um, a suitcase very quickly um, in order to start packing for a trip very soon, I think that this is a really good option. I've found that most department stores that perhaps you might be going to kind of last minute such as Macy's do not sell carry-ons in the correct smaller international size. So um, in order to get a really fast sized, um, correctly sized carry-on, this is probably one of your best bets. Um, on top of that, if you buy on Chester's website, they do offer a 100-day money-back guarantee, as well as a 10-year limited warranty on this bag, which is incredible for the price point, um, just in case any damages happen. So I think that that's a really good deal and adds a lot of um, bonus to the purchase. Um, I personally don't own an away bag right now, um, away carry-on bag, um, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't admit that that's probably the biggest competitor for Chester and the, this bag looks the most similar to an away bag that I've seen on the market. The price point here is slightly below the away bag and certainly below other international carry-ons such as Toomey or Briggs and & Riley. Um, and I highly encourage you to buy this bag just to save a couple extra bucks if you are on a budget. So I hope that this review is helpful for you all travelers. If you have any questions about this Chester bag, um, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you like this type of content um, and really want to see more travel content from this channel, then feel free to subscribe and also look at um, following me on Instagram so you don't miss any travel content in the future. Thanks everybody for watching. Cheers and happy travels. Bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so you don't miss when I put out new and awesome travel videos.